Here we go, we're banking to 30 degrees, 30 degrees of bank, and adding that full power, taking the full 90 degrees, this first full 90 degrees to get up to our final pitch attitude. Hey guys, welcome back. Sam Terrell, the Northwest Aeronaut, and today we are talking about chandelles. These are one of the maneuvers you're going to be performing on your commercial pilot check ride. And we did a video on it a while back, but today I wanted to take a little bit of a deeper dive. So first let's define what a chandelle is. And for that, I like to go straight to the source material in the airplane flying handbook. Here it says a chandelle is a maximum performance 180 degree climbing turn that begins from approximately straight and level flight and concludes with the airplane in a wings level nose high attitude just above stall speed. So while there are no altitude or speed requirements in the ACS for a chandelle, the idea is to maximize your altitude gain for a given bank angle and to end the maneuver just above stall speed. So your stall indicator should be going off. So let's talk about some of the aerodynamics associated with chandelles, and in particular, what you as the pilot are gonna to have to make sure you're doing to stay properly coordinated and really demonstrate this maneuver properly. So first, in order to perform the chandelle, we can basically divide this up into two parts. It's a 180 degree turn, and if we divide it up into two sets of 90, we can look at the first 90 degree turn as being a constant bank angle with ever changing pitch. The pitch at no time in the first 90 degrees should not be changing. It should be constantly moving from a nose level attitude, up and up and up and up, to give or take around 20 degrees of nose up attitude. This will largely depend on the aircraft you're flying and the conditions for that day. In the second half of the maneuver, the second 90 degrees, now our pitch attitude is going to be staying the same and our bank is going to be the thing that is always changing. We are going to be going from that 30 degrees of bank all the way out to wings level to finish the maneuver 180 degrees from where we started. Now, as with most all of these commercial maneuvers, this is all about being able to coordinate your flight controls and show mastery over your airplane. Throughout the maneuver, not only are your pitch and bank going to be constantly changing at any given time, but so will your airspeed. Because of those slow airspeeds in that nose high attitude, those left turning tendencies are really gonna be prevalent. So let's break this maneuver down, going both left and right, and what you can expect and will need to be paying attention to as you perform the maneuver. So we're gonna be starting the maneuver in a straight level flight attitude at just a nice medium cruise speed. It doesn't have to be full power, nor should it be. It should be a nice medium cruise speed if you're in a Cessna 172, 90 knots or something like that is just fine. When you're ready to begin the maneuver, we are first going to identify a visual waypoint. It must be visual. 90 degrees off in the direction that you're going to be turning. Here in the Northwest, we have great mountains on clear days that we can use. So you want to find something off in the distance that is very identifiable. Once we've identified our visual waypoint, we can bug our heading to make sure that we kind of have that as a backup, but we're not flying this on instruments. This is a visual maneuver. When we're ready to begin, we are going to first smoothly and slowly bank into a 30 degree bank angle. From there, we are going to add full power and we're gonna start slowly bringing that nose up. Now, as we bank to the left, this is a left turning chandelle. When we bank to the left, we'll need a little bit of left rudder, but basically as soon as you're at that 30 degrees of bank and you add full power, your left rudder is almost immediately going to go away because you're going to need to begin adding right rudder as you add that power and as you start slowing down. So a little bit of left rudder as you begin the turn initially, 
Then as soon as you add power, start relaxing that left rudder and transitioning into right rudder. Now what you want to imagine is that there is a straight line from where you are looking, right here, straight and level, to whatever the approximate highest pitch attitude is at your 90 degree point. Let's just call it 20 degrees pitch up. Okay, we have our 20 degree point up here and we have our level point right here. We want to imagine a straight line being drawn from our starting point to our ending point. And that is the line that your nose should follow to get to that highest pitch attitude at the 90 degree point. So we put that left bank in, we add that full power, we start pitching up nice and slowly, letting that nose follow that straight line to our 90 degree point and making sure we fight any overbanking tendencies because we don't want to go past 30 degrees of bank. Once we hit our 90 degree point on our visual waypoint out the window, that's when our pitch freezes. It freezes wherever it is, usually between 15 and 20 degrees, and that's when we now start unbanking the plane. We need to take our time with this. At this point, your airspeed will have decreased significantly. You'll be needing some right rudder. And now that you are going to be unbanking the plane to the right, you are really going to need a lot of right rudder because we have the slow air. My propeller fell off. So now we have our slow airspeed with our high pitch attitude, which is creating a lot of left turning tendencies, but now we're combining it with a right banking motion. Whenever we bank the ailerons to the right, we need extra right rudder. So in the last half of this chandelle going to the left, you need an extraordinary amount of right rudder to keep that plane coordinated throughout the rollout. Now here's the thing, your right rudder is going to be helping the plane unbank. So you actually need to be careful not to allow it to unbank too quickly. Otherwise, you won't get all the way around to your 180 degree point. So we're really focusing on that rudder, making sure that our bank angle doesn't come out too quickly and making sure it takes the full last half of the maneuver, that last 90 degrees of the maneuver, to take the bank out completely, ultimately ending just above stall speed and at 180 degrees of heading from where we started. That visual reference we saw off to our left when we began should now be off to our right. All right, let's talk about it going to the right. Now, when we go to the right, we're gonna need a good amount of right rudder rolling into the maneuver to 30 degrees. And then as soon as we add power, we start pitching up. We need to make sure that we continue to use enough right rudder to keep the plane coordinated. Again, be mindful of overbanking tendencies. As you pitch up, the plane will want to overbank even more. You need to control those overbanking tendencies and make sure that you keep a 30 degree bank angle throughout this first half. In the last half of this turn, we're gonna be unbanking to the left. Now, usually with a left banking turn, we need to use a little left rudder. However, in this case, we're just going to be using slightly less right rudder. Now, the right rudder we are using is still going to counter the motion of the left ailerons, or the left banking tendencies, and we need to make sure that that right rudder doesn't prevent us from unbanking on time. Sometimes the bank can be held in a little too long because of that right rudder pressure and we actually go past our 180 degree heading. So we need to make sure that we're timing things correctly, we're balancing rudder and aileron inputs to stay coordinated, but make sure we're rolling out at the correct heading at the correct time, just above stall speed. Hey guys, let's go to the plane now and check out what this maneuver looks like in the air. All right guys, welcome back. You know, that's not clouds you're seeing out the window there. That is smoke. It is a smoky, hazy day today in the Northwest. And uh, you know, ideally I would have liked to have had a little bit of a clearer day, but I've been so busy this summer. I haven't been able to do many videos and I wanted to get out and record some of these. And today just happened to be the day that I was able to schedule it. So we're gonna do our best 
And uh, today we're talking about chandelles. We're going to do our chandelle deep dive. So we're up at 6,500 here. Unfortunately, even though this is a visual maneuver, make no mistake, all of these commercial maneuvers are visual maneuvers. We don't have any visual reference out today, unfortunately. And you know what? On the day of your check ride, you might end up with a, on a day like today where you just don't have many visual references. So when that happens, we do kind of have to use our heading bugs and our heading indicators as some backups. So that's what we're going to do today. And if you can see here, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to not bug my heading I'm starting on, but I'm going to bug the heading at my 90 degree point. So in this case, we're going to bug east because we're going to be starting on a heading of north. Zero, 09 or zero. So here we go, we have our airplane configured, we've done our pre-maneuver checklist, we've made our call. We're gonna go ahead and get into the chandelle here. Alrighty, no altitude requirement for chandelles, no airspeed requirements other than that the maneuver itself ends just before stall. We're going to the right first, we're starting on north, we'll be ending on south. Here we go, we're banking to 30 degrees, 30 degrees of bank, and adding that full power, taking the full 90 degrees, this first full 90 degrees to get up to our final pitch attitude. Fighting those overbanking tendencies so that we don't overbank. There's our 90 degree. Now we're going to begin rolling out, keeping that right rudder in there, continuing to add back pressure to the yoke as we roll out and ending just above stall right on our south heading as we let our nose down and begin to accelerate. Losing minimal altitude in that process. We want to let the nose down nice and slowly so we don't lose any of that altitude. When we're going to the right in the last half of the maneuver, we're using right rudder, but it's not quite as much right rudder because we're actually banking left as we roll out of the turn. And you got to be careful because the right rudder counters the left banking tendency and so you got to make sure that you're very controlled in how you're unbanking from that turn not to do it too quickly but also not to do it too slowly all right this time we're going to the left when we go to the left in the last half of the maneuver we're going to be using right aileron and right rudder so it's going to take a lot of right rudder to stay coordinated and you got to be careful in the process not to allow that right rudder to prematurely unbank you to where you don't actually get to your final 180 degree heading. All right, here we go. We're starting on south. And we're going to go to the left with our chandelle. Here we go, rolling into 30 degrees of bank. There it is, adding full power, bringing that nose up slowly, taking the full 90 degrees the first half of this turn to get our pitch up to that highest pitch attitude at about 17 and a half. As we unroll here, we keep pulling back. We keep adding back pressure, keeping that right rudder in there, making sure it doesn't unbank us too quickly, but keeping that pitch up, keeping that nose up. There's our heading. We end just above stall, and now we're letting that nose down nice and gently, nice and gently. I don't know if you can hear the stall warning going off, but it's going off there, and we're just accelerating with minimal loss of altitude. All right, guys, that'll do it for today. Hey, let me know if you have any questions about chandelles down in the comments. Let me know what you think about this deep dive format where we kind of talk about it first here in the studio and then go over to the airplane. I really appreciate you spending time with me today. And until next time, resume your own navigation. See ya.